But Mark, let's move on into our next topic. And we're talking about my team, the Minnesota Vikings. I wish, though, we were talking about them on better terms as Kyle Rudolph, it was last week reported that, hey, you know what? He could sign a five-year contract extension with the Minnesota Vikings. Cool. Let's get it done. And then talks broke down. So that's where we're at right now. Five-year extension was on the table. They're not exactly where they would like to be. Before I ask you the question I'm going to ask you, though, make sure to go to iTunes. Give us a five-star rating. It really helps us get into the ears of more people, get known, and get found by more people. If you're on YouTube, I know you got one. So please go over to iTunes and Apple Podcasts and do that today. But, Mark, the thing I'm going to ask you with this is what should the Vikings do with Kyle Rudolph because he's entering the last year of his contract. They're trying to get him locked down for five years. They're trying to restructure it Mm -hmm. so that they can use that money in other places. Like, for example, when they restructured other contracts, they were able to kind of, I think it was, it was either Kendricks' contract um, or someone else on the defense. We restructured that contract. We were able to sign Garrett Bradbury, our first-round pick, from this past NFL draft, what should the Vikings do? Should they re-sign Kyle Rudolph? Or should they maybe, if talks start going like this and they can't find a common ground, should they look to trade Kyle Rudolph this season? I'm actually on board with the trying to trade Kyle Rudolph. Um, I I think, and of course it's going to depend on the value, Mm -hmm. but I, I do think that there are teams that would potentially give you something good for Rudolph, but I, I look at him and like, yes, he's a top 10 tight end without mm-hmm. a doubt. Um, but you get a little nervous potentially with those deals. Cause he's going to be 30 this season. Um, and he, like I said, he's a good top 10 tight end, but he's had some not as good years as others. I mean, he, he kind of, he's not necessarily fully boom or bust, Mm -hmm. uh, but he definitely has his really strong seasons and his seasons where he's a little almost forgettable. Yeah. Um, so I don't know necessarily what you want to do for that. If you really truly want to commit to that, um, especially with this, uh, question mark of Kirk cousins, not necessarily that he's a big question mark, Mm -hmm. but if you're going to get as much production out of Kirk Cousins as you were kind of hoping for. Um, so I don't necessarily know if that's going to be answered so quickly. You know, if you trade him too soon, you might completely miss out on Kirk Cousins coming out there and just lighting it up this season after yeah. he's got a set, you know, he's had one full year uh, kind of figuring things out. Um, although really the playbook change and everything like that because you guys had to fire your offensive coordinator well there's a couple things that have changed but i'll get into that in a second so i it's tough it's hard to bite that bullet Mm -hmm. and really say like yes we should get rid of him because the offense was not very good last year that can attribute to a little bit of not amazing numbers um and then the year before that there was a lot of quarterback injury issues um that once again could attribute to some not as amazing numbers uh, you want to hopefully get back to that 2016 season. Um, but before that season, there was a little bit of time uh, of just kind of not amazingness out of Kyle Rudolph as well. So it's tough. You don't want to commit too much, at least in my eyes, to him. Um, but he's certainly better than a lot of what you'll find mm-hmm. just on the free agent market. Well, here's the thing that I'm kind of thinking as the Viking fan in the room is, first off, do I love Kyle? Absolutely love Kyle. Um, Would I be happy if they locked him down for five additional years? Hell yeah, especially if that reconstruction means that we can use money in other places to pay other players. Because the one thing that the Vikings are in right now is they are like, think of it this way. Think of if Seattle, during the Legion of Boom, had to pay Russell Wilson, tons of money. Yep. That's where we're at. We have a great defense. Most of those players are coming up to big contracts, and we're paying our quarterback big money. We don't have the luxury of a quarterback on his rookie deal. So we have to kind of restructure contracts here and there to make room for other players. And I kind of think of – I'm looking at the last three seasons for – the Minnesota Vikings, because like you had mentioned, 
we went through some changes, and Mm -hmm. not just with the offensive scheme where we had one offensive coordinator in 2016, then Pat Shermer took over as the interim um, OC in that year, then Pat Shermer was the OC in 2017, and then we had this year with the whole two OCs, and we thought it was Filippo. He wasn't going to be the guy. We fired him. Um, So there were changes there. Plus, in the last three years, Kyle Rudolph has had a different quarterback each and every year. And the way I look at it, the way I see it, is in 2016, arguably his best, well, not arguably, his best season. I'm just going to go out and say it. It's the year that he had his most yards, he had his most targets, he was targeted 133 times that year, and had the most receptions that he's ever had in a single season. It was his best year by far. Who was the quarterback of that team? Sam Bradford, a guy who really likes to lean on that tight end. However, you look at year two when Pat Shermer took over the offense full-time. When Case Keenum became the full starter, you look at the targets, Adam Thielen, 142 targets. Yep. Stefan Diggs, 95 targets. Then Kyle Rudolph with 81 targets. And then this past year with Kirk Cousins, and this is the big one you got to look at because Kirk Cousins, A, is the quarterback that we're looking at right now. And it seems like he's got a great rapport with especially Thielen, but mm-hmm. with uh, Thielen and Diggs, both Thielen and Diggs, right around that 150 targets this year. Kyle Rudolph at 82. We just drafted also Irv Smith Jr. So the thing I'm kind of thinking about is, do I want Kyle Rudolph on this team? Yes. But if he's going to cost too much... We've got a young tight end. If Irv Smith can give us, let's say, I'd say 50, 50 targets at the least to 80 targets at the best, it's the same exact thing we're getting from Kyle Rudolph. Of course, mm-hmm. the production comes off that. Kyle Rudolph had 634 yards this year, and he's a guy that averages around 9 to 10 yards per um, completion. But if Kurt's going to be more reliable on the main two wide receivers – why overpay for a tight yeah. end when we have a guy where we can pay cheap rookie deal? Yeah, especially when you got a guy who's 30 and you're going to try and commit him for five years. Mm-hmm. And, I, and they'll, I'm sure they'll structure themselves a way out of it yeah. in two or three years. But it's just one of those things there where it's like if you can get more out of trading him, and you might. Like I said, he's a top 10 tight end. There will be teams that need something like that mm-hmm. that need that safety blanket. I mean, you know, you look at Kittle last year and what he did for San Francisco – Kind of came out of nowhere. And part of that was because where else was the ball going to go? Um, but that is just enormous for a team that can have a very reliable guy. You know, we all talk about Rob Gronkowski, especially now that he's retired, and just having that reliable target right there who's going to help you move the chains. Mm-hmm. That's what Kyle Rudolph can be for teams. Um, I just, just don't necessarily know that you're going to get the most value out of him. Uh, on the Vikings because you have other stuff. But at the same time, been a little bit of those kind of inconsistencies to him to where maybe for the Vikings, if you can sell high on him, I think you're kind of better off doing it. Well, and the thing that I kind of look at is right now there's two. If you type in Kyle Rudolph trade, there's two teams that pop up. Both of them are in the AFC East. One of them, and I'm looking at CBS Sports for this, Apparently, last week, the Patriots have reportedly had talks with the Vikings for Kyle Rudolph. Mm -hmm. They're a team right now that they signed Ben Watson. Ben Watson's going to be suspended for the first four games now. Um, They had, obviously, Gronk retire this offseason. They have a pretty big hole at the tight end position. Yep. And Tom Brady's a guy that, A, likes to spread the ball around, but likes to lean on that tight end, and the tight end is a big part of that Patriot system. Another team that people are throwing around are the Buffalo Bills, and that's a team that kind of intrigues me because, like, the Patriots don't really intrigue me with a trade because if I'm getting a trade out of the Patriots, if I'm getting a draft pick, it's not going to be a high draft pick. And number two, basically what I'm trying to get from the Patriots, 
are players that I can use because that's what they have to offer. Maybe they'll give you that Tom Brady guy. Maybe maybe they'll give us that big TB12. But if I look at the Bills, now I'm not saying Kyle Rudolph would definitely be worth a first rounder. But if he is, if the Bills are willing to give up a first rounder, they'd be crazy. First of all, for maybe, but that's a trade I'm looking to make because the Bills are a far worse team than the New England Patriots. Yeah, and they probably will be. But at the same time, Josh Allen needs somebody uh, that he can on. use as his safety blanket. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I initially want to, of course, make the joke of, well, how far can Kyle Rudolph get? Quickly, yeah. Like, can he get to seventy yards down there? How fast in like three your, seconds? How fast your forty? Because he's only gonna with that bad offensive line. Mm-hmm. You only get about three seconds before you got to throw that ball. And yeah. uh, Josh Allen wants to throw it at least 50, 60 yards. Uh, <laughs> but he really could use a great guy like Kyle Rudolph to be that safety blanket, mm-hmm. but still be athletic enough to still uh, get your yards after catch, mm-hmm. still move you forward. Uh, but I don't know. I I. Kind of could see the Patriots doing it because they're in that situation where it's like, hey, if we got, if we feel like there's one thing missing, just it's go get the end. one thing. Mm-hmm. You know, go get the one thing that we need. Tom Brady's going to make anybody look amazing. I mean, they are coming off of a Super Bowl. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not like it's something to where it's like, oh my God, we need that one thing that we were missing last year. No, it's, they had this for so long and they have to, because right now the tight ends on their roster, um, they have a ton, but I'm going to read the top three because they're the only ones that I think have mm-hmm. a chance at playing time. Ben Watson, who obviously first four games suspended. Yep. Um, then my favorite, uh, ASJ, Austin Safarian Jenkins. Um, he's probably going to get time in those yep. first four as the main tight end. But also got to throw uh, some big line I love to Matt Lacoste, um, who's now the third string tight end for the Patriots. Or for in him. this case... Maybe the second stringer because For they like weeks. to run those two tight end sets, so they'll probably get some time next to Safari and Jenkins. Could this team would be so much better if they were able to trade and have Kyle Rudolph and Austin Sarah for Jenkins, and then it, once those four weeks pass, it's Kyle Rudolph and Benjamin Watson mm-hmm. are your main two guys, and then the Patriots would be like, okay. We don't need to panic that Gronk retired. Yeah, exactly. And, and you know, when you got a guy like Tom Brady, you know you're going to mm-hmm. have success no matter what. Um, the Patriots, I mean, they're a team where, you know, we, we talk about them trading back all the time anyway. So if it has to be a second-round pick or something like that, that's not big that big mm-hmm. of a loss for the Patriots. Um, you know, would the Vikings be willing to make that trade? I'm not 100% sure because – the value becomes a little bit less, but I still stand by the fact of I think you can survive without him. Um, and I think this team would hopefully try and find a little bit more consistency uh, at the position. And I think that get what you can get what you can now, because mm-hmm. like I said, he's not, he's going to this season. He's about to be on the wrong end of 30. Mm hmm. Players don't last forever. Just get what you can. And I know that the one, the big thing is that Kyle Rudolph wants to get this done, obviously, before OTAs. Doesn't yeah. want this to be a distraction. Well, he over... wants it to be done. He wants his contract. Well, there's that, but it's also you don't, as a player, there are some players out there that don't want that to be a distraction for their season. They don't want to be sitting there going, mm-hmm. like, Oh man, I really have to play up this year because now oh, yeah. it's a contract year. Like they want it adds the a security bit of pressure. Yeah, yeah, it adds that security. But the thing that the Vikings on the other side are really trying to do, like I mentioned, and I'll give the exact numbers here. So Kyle Rudolph for 2019 is going to have a 7.625 million dollar cap hit, and Minnesota has less than 1.3 million in cap space and can't afford to pay him at the price that he wants to need him on the roster. That's basically where we're at right now. So, I mean, it's all going to come down. I know right now you see reports of like Kyle Rudolph where it's like, really want to stay in Minnesota, really like it in Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Of course he's going to say that. And I know me, That's like I said, there. I would love to have Kyle Rudolph on this team because he's been here for his whole career. It's not like he's a bad tight end. But the Vikings need to be smart. The Vikings need to be smart and not overpay mm-hmm. for Kyle Rudolph 
Because you mentioned age, which is a good one. Also, usage, like I brought up, if it's going to be... The ball can only get to so many people. Yeah. Like, it's not like basketball where everyone can touch the ball in one possession. No. Usually on an offensive possession, two guys touch the ball. Quarterback running back, quarterback wide receiver, quarterback tight end. Like, two people. Or quarterback defensive player if it's an interception. Or mm-hmm. three if it's a fumble or if the defensive player picks yeah. it up. You know, get tricky. But straight yeah, to the straight to the running back, then to the wide receiver, then to the quarterback, Ricky, maybe, and then to another wide may, receiver. Maybe, um, but my mm-hmm. point is like not a, the it, not a lot of people can touch the ball on one yeah. possession like different sports. And if I'm sitting here today, I think if I'm the Vikings, I mean, you want to keep Kyle Rudolph, but at the same time, you got to be smart. I think what I would be leaning towards at this point is, well, you know what. If we can't get to this, I need to explore trades. And then it becomes what can you get yeah. for Kyle Rudolph? Because ideally, I would love to get a first round pick from him, but I don't think we will. Um mm-hmm. I think the high I think the highest, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, this is maybe me drinking the purple Kool-Aid. I think the highest pick we could get for Kyle Rudolph would maybe be a second. I think a second is possible if the team is willing to do it and a team mm-hmm. needs it maybe desperate um, enough to do it but i i think a third would be fine i mm-hmm. if i was the vikings i would take a third for kyle rudolph why not mm-hmm. and i mean just to throw out there irv smith jr you want to know how much he's going to make this year how much just under five hundred thousand. yep that's that second round pick man four years he makes just under i mean that's his base salary so with his signing he's making about a million dollars um this year but pretty his, nice but his cap hit just over one million. Kyle Rudolph, seven million. So uh, tomato, tomato. Um, which one you'll take? Um, but any final thoughts on this before we move on? Um, if it happens, I don't see it happening anytime soon. Either way, I think this will be very kind of last minute. Do you think what what has a great a I vote on the cha- trade? What, but what do you think has a greater chance? Them getting a deal done before the season ends. Mm-hmm. Or him being traded midseason, um, or before the season. I would say probably. I in that case, I would say that they'd probably get it done before the season. A deal, okay, over a mid mid year uh, trade. Mm-hmm. Unless the Vikings just come out and they lose six in a row, and they're just like, well, buy Kyle Rudolph, buy anything good. Yeah, let's uh, let's hope they don't lose um, six in a row. As I'm very That's right. quickly pulling up that schedule to see who our first six games are. I don't because know. I don't I'm want right us it. to lose six in a row. Of course you are. You're a Bears fan. Um, but I'm going to lean more towards, I think it's going to be about 60-40 trade. Um, where I think the Vikings are trying to get a deal done. It's obviously, they haven't walked away from it. Um, but I think no matter what, if you can't get a deal done, a trade needs to happen. You can't let Kyle Rudolph walk. Um, at the end of the season. So I'll say 60-40 in my mind that he gets traded this season compared to um, getting a deal done just because of where they're at in talks right now. But this is where you guys come in. Let us know what you think down below in that comment section. What's going to happen? What do you think about the trade talks? What do you think? Viking fans, do you want Kyle Rudolph? Are you kind of hoping to where it's like, oh, me, I don't want to overpay him because I really just want this team to be successful and pay the other guys we have to. And if you're a Vikings fan, are you open to the Vikings trading away Kyle Rudolph? Let us know what you guys think down below in that comment section. 